Hey everyone. I just got some really bad news kind of. You know, I just found something that is just a disaster. I'm pretty have been upset for the last few minutes. And uh, I think I'm trying to calm down right now. But um, today, today is Wednesday, July 17th. And in one of my last videos on my typical day on the homestead video, I came out here to the hay field and I showed you guys how beautiful that hay field was looking. Okay, so this is three days later since that video, since I filmed that video. I came home, I looked out the back window, and I could see this field. And this entire field is brown and, and dying. I used to say, I'm a little pissed off. So what happened was, the farmer that rents my ground pays a company to come and spray his fields with Roundup. He has soybean here, yeah, you know, you know how the soybeans are with farmers. They are a genetically modified, they are Roundup ready soybeans. So they spray over the fields. Kills the weeds and the soybeans stay. Well, they came back to this field and they've sprayed my entire hay field. And they've killed my entire hay field. And all of the all of the effort that I have put into this hay field is now gone. And now I've got to wait and find out whether these people are going to try and actually make good on this. So it's really, it's really upsetting because it puts me back a whole year, pretty much. Now I don't have no hay this year. Um, I'm going to have to buy hay this year. I won't have extra hay this year, so then that was how I was going to judge on whether I bought livestock and how much livestock. So now I'm a year behind on buying livestock. So yeah, I'm a whole year behind now on hay because they came and they sprayed my field. And they shouldn't have been on this field at all. They shouldn't have been back here. So now I've got to calculate up how much I spent on the seed, how much time and what it was worth to me, that time I put in here mowing down the corn stalks, seeding the soil, fertilizing the soil, killing the weeds, all of that. I got to calculate up what my time was worth. I got to calculate how much fuel I used. I got to calculate up the rental costs for the seed drill. And then I need to calculate maybe how many bales of hay I was going to get because they owe me those bales of hay. Let's say 150 bales of hay, 50 bales an acre. Let's just say that. So maybe they owe me 150 bales of hay at five bucks a bale. I got to calculate that all up, put that together and see whether these people will pay me back for the damages that they did to me. And I don't know if they will or not. It's just really upsetting. No matter whether I get paid for the damages or not, it's really upsetting that I put all this time and effort into this. And then someone drove from that field over there across and crossed into this field and they killed my field by spraying it. So anyway, I am venting and I'm also taking a record of this because in my last video you could see how green and how good this field looked. I've mowed this field down, you know, trying to get it all nice and strong, kill any, any weeds that are left. And all it took was a few minutes of somebody getting on the wrong property, getting on the wrong field, and they have destroyed my entire hay field. All my progress is gone now. So this was the start. This was it. This was the beginning for me, right? This is how I was going to start kind of my small farm right here. I was going to be a grass farmer. I take that grass and I feed animals. And then I sell those animals either to other people who want them or I sell them at market. So now my this is basically a business startup for me, right? This is a farm business startup. And now I am a whole year behind, at least. Best case scenario, I replant this field in the fall. But I still will probably only get one cutting next year. So, yeah. That's where I'm sitting. 
I thought I'd share that with you. It's just kind of a bad moment. I've got to digest this now for about a half an hour. And uh, it's really upsetting. So the, the company that sprayed this field is the same company, Agribusiness, Agriservice, that I went to to get my soil sample. And they knew when I went to get that soil sample that this hay field was going to be planted into hay. They, they, the farmer had told them, there's numerous accounts that they should know that this field is in hay and not to be, you know, and is not in soybeans or anything else. So I don't know whether they're going to make good on this or whether the farmer that rents my land and paid them is going to make good on this. But I'm out of a lot of time, effort, and money in this hay field. So you're seeing me at one of those bad moments in my life where I am uh, put to the test on my patience and my resolve. It's not a good day. Not a good day at all. So anyway, bear with me. And I will update you on how this turns out. But right now, I have no idea. So that business is closed right now. I got home from work and I discovered this when I got home from work. It looked like a nice golden field of wheat when I got home. I looked out the back window and I'm like, that don't look right. I'm like, my whole field looks dead. I came back here and it was. So, I will not know, probably for a few days on how this is actually going to turn out. So, we'll be back in a couple days, and we'll see what that company says about them spraying my field, and see whether they're going to make good on it, or see whether my farmer tries to make good on it, or whether I find a new farmer. That's basically how it's going to go down, right? That company's going to end up paying me for my time, effort, and the hay I would have got, or my farmer's gonna make good on it, or I'm gonna find me a new farmer. Because if one of those two guys do not wanna pay for this, it's probably not gonna be worth my effort to go to small claims and try to get it from them. You know what I mean? To get a lawyer. When you're talking maybe only $2,000, but still, that $2,000 just stopped all my progress of moving forward with becoming like a small livestock farm. So we'll be back here and I'll tell you how this turns out. So I don't know if you can see that, but you see those two lines right there? That is the wide, narrow track of a terrigator. As the terrigator came through this field and they sprayed the entire field, and this entire field is now dead. And will have to be started all over. Today is now Friday, it's two days later from when I last showed you the field. So here in the daylight, it's nice, the sun is just coming up, it's early in the morning. You can see there is a little bit of green still in here, so we'll just have to take time to see if how much, if it's an entire kill or not. Um, I mean, but in my opinion, I mean the entire field's done. It's completely ruined and it needs replanted, that's my, my opinion. Um, so I talked to the guy who's in charge of the Agri Service Company. They are admitting that they did spray the field. It is entirely their fault. They knew they shouldn't have done it, and um, they're going to try to make it right. That's what they're telling me. Um, so they used, it wasn't Roundup, they used a chemical called Liberty, Liberty Herbicide. And I think it's a pretty fast-acting herbicide. Um, he tried to tell me that it worked better on broadleaves than grass and maybe the grass might come back. Um, needless to say, I looked up Liberty Herbicide myself and on the list of things that it kills was alfalfa, orchard grass, and timothy grass. They are all listed on that product that it will kill. So, wait and see. He thinks that some of this was so tall that it might kill the taller stuff and maybe the shorter stuff would be shielded and come back. I think he was trying to make me feel better um, but that isn't what I wanted to hear. It was kind of like, well, it might come back. It's like, no, that ain't what I want to hear. I want to hear that you're going to fix it. 
So, what he, what they have agreed to do is they want to try to make it right. That's what they tell me. Is they've agreed to pay someone to replant this field in the seed, the same seed that I had purchased before, and reseed this entire field and redo it. Um, I'll be honest with you. I went over this field three times because of that drill, and uh, this field is is really thick. If somebody, if I pay, if they pay somebody to go over it, they'll probably go over it one time in a seed drill, and I'll have all these nice little rows of grass. But even though that was frustrating, that the seed drill I had wasn't putting seed down fast enough. I went over it so many times that this is nice and filled in very well, and it's killed now. I mean, it's filled in like it would be. Um, after years of being here, I think. I mean, most of it. I mean, I showed you some patchy spots before, but overall, this is very filled in, way more than it would be with one pass of a seed drill. Um, so I'm not real. I'm not real confident I'm going to get um, the same results after they pay somebody to do it. I think I'll get I'll get a hay field that's very thin afterwards and not this thick. Uh, I also think that they ought to fertilize the field, since I fertilized the field, but um, they have agreed to pay somebody to replant my whole field. Now, the problem with that is we won't be able to replant this probably. The time to plant, hey, you can't do it right now. Uh, it's middle of the summer. is going to be September. So by the time, if this all dies down, by the time it becomes September, this will probably have grown back up entirely with weeds, and it will have to be entirely redone, uh, maybe you know so we'll just have to wait and see how that goes i'm not sure if i have a lot of confidence um in how well the hay field will look after they pay we pay they pay someone to reseed it um so so we'll just have to wait and see how that goes so that'll be later this year now the th one thing we haven't agreed upon is how much hay they owe me so i guess so i've talked to some people that I've talked to about hay and had lots of questions about hay and they they say that 50 bales an acre 50 square square bales an acre is what they everybody shoots for around here uh, to have at least 50 bales an acre so three acres that'd be 150 bales in a cut and this is probably gonna I'm probably not gonna get cut off this field now till next September so it put me back a whole year probably and um, so basically I take that as I didn't get a cut this fall. I didn't get a cut in the spring or a cut next summer. That's the way I'm going to take it. It could be three cuts that I'm short. That's 450 bales. So they didn't want to agree right off to 450 bales of hay that they owe me. An alfalfa grass mixture hay, which would probably be at least, you know, $5 a bale. And considering the year that it is, I think hay is uh, scarce. And the people I've talked to have already pre-sold their hay. So getting hay may be hard. So it could possibly, you could argue that it could be even more. Um, now I do know this is a new hay field. And you could argue that it won't get as many bales right off the bat. Um, so I can see some negotiating here. But we have not decided how much they actually owe me in hay. Um, so... And there's a lot of other things that I could argue that um, that how this affected me, affected me getting livestock, so I'm no livestock to sell next year. Of course, if they buy me hay and I have hay, then I'll be able to do that. Um, but anyway, that's where we're at right now with this hay field. They have admitted that they sprayed it and that they will try to fix it. I'm not real confident in how well it'll get fixed. And then I'm not, we haven't agreed upon how many bales they owe me. So stay tuned. A uh, little bit of drama, uh, very frustrating that I've put a lot of work and effort in this and uh, they pretty much stripped that from me. Um, so this was mine. I had ownership of this field. You know, I had planted it, I'd done everything and I kind of owned this. I was proud of what I was doing and now it's no longer mine no more. It's, it's dead and it's going to be planted by somebody else. Um, so it's no long, I kind of lost the ownership of this whole hay field now that it will be redone and I won't have anything in it. So, kind of disappointing to me, I guess, because I'm trying to learn all this. And, um, I don't know, they, they stripped this whole experience from me, pretty much. So, anyway, that's it. I, we'll just have to wait and see how well this turns out and how well these people make good on their word to fix the situation and, and right the wrong. So, thanks for watching.
I'll see you guys in the next video.